Joey Stroop here, Bike Man Performance. Today we're gonna to answer the question, how boosted two strokes are tuned? How a stock machine performs, why is there room for improvement? So the manufacturers leave a, a big cushion as a safety net for them uh, because they know that people may run uh, less than ideal fuel in it so they have to have a big cushion for that and also sometimes they'll release it at a horsepower level that they know that they can add on to later in life uh, like the Skidoo 850 turbo to the Turbo R is essentially the same engine when they release the Turbo R it has an extra spring tab and and makes two more pounds of boost so uh, you know that's why they release it and that's how there's room for improvement and then when we tune it we just bring it up as safe as we can on 91 and find out where the breaking point is. We'll bring it back and, and then put it through all the paces there and make sure that all of our fuel, our timing and boost pressures are correct uh, to be very responsive and run better than the factory. The next question would be is, how do you know how much an OEM can handle? Well, that's the fun part because we get to push it to the breaking point and see you know, where the knock starts happening uh, and then bring it back. And then we figure out, well, if we bring a little bit more fuel in, can I handle more boost? If we, uh, you know, it is a little less fuel and more ignition. So it's a, a boost, fuel and ignition kind of trifecta that works together. And we find the perfect balance between all of them to get the, the most reliable horsepower you can. And uh, we, we go through all the testing so you don't have to. We make it super simple, just flash it in with Torque Link and, and it's super easy to go. So how many pounds of boost do you typically run on our tunes? Well, we run as much boost as we can safely run. So, uh, and it's completely variable. So when a lot of times customers call us up and say, well, how much boost does that tune make? Well, it's gonna change by the environment. So if it's a warmer air day, we can't make as much boost because as you compress that warm air, it gets hotter. So if we start with colder air, we can compress it more. So we can run more boost on a cold day. And we have all that done inside of our tunes. If we're at higher elevation, we can compress the air more because there's less of it there to compress. Uh, if the engine's colder, if the, uh, you know, if the exhaust temp is a, a different temperature. So we take all these different inputs and that's what will dictate the most boost uh, that you can safely run. And then we have our set just below that to a safe point. What changes can we make to add power? So sometimes uh, exhaust uh, can, can help you make more power. Uh, so say we run in a free flowing muffler on there. Sometimes it backs up less heat. It takes a little bit of load off the turbo so that everything doesn't have to work quite as hard to make the horsepower. So then we can run a little bit more on a more boost or more aggressive through the mid range on a, on a tune with a, one of our mufflers in it than without. Also like on the Skidoo turbo, uh, we actually run a tune pipe on that one because uh, the tune pipe dramatically increases efficiency and we can actually add about 15 horsepower to all of our tunes with the tune pipe on it. What other improvements are made within the tune? Uh, we modify oil mixtures, we modify how it idles. Uh, we go through every end of it. There's you know, roughly 200 tables or more uh, within the factory ECU that we modify to make sure that you have the best tune possible. And it's a very time consuming process. And when we make it, we don't just ship it out right off the dyno. We, make it on the dyno, we test it at low elevation, test it on trails, test it in mountains, and we gotta test it in every scenario so we make sure that all of our tables that are used to compensate for different environments have the right compensation values in there so that the final ignition output, the final fuel output, and the final boost output is correct to run safely. From dyno to trail, how the tune is developed uh, and dyno tested, uh, you know, so the first step is the dyno, of course. Uh, we go through, we see, you know, how much power this engine can make, uh, you know, where, it's, where it starts, you know, kind of coming apart a little bit. We come down from there and then we figure out if we can make this in all the different environments. So from the dyno, 
uh, we go to the trail, to the, to the mountain, and everything from there. So check out all of our tunes at torquelink.com, and they are sold at our own website, bikebandperformance.com.